ChatGPT is taking over the world, or at least it's trying to replace me as a game programmer. And if you can't beat them, join them. So I've decided to use ChatGPT to make a game. Meet my new project, doing what ChatGPT wants me to do. Hey ChatGPT, let's make a game. I forgot that you prefer to be called Frank, so hey Frank, can you help me make a game? I suck at art, so let's just stick to 3D objects and let's make it quick, buddy. Collect the cubes game. Really? That, that's what you can come up with? All the billions of dollars and technology put into you and collect the cubes game. Okay, Frank. But at least Frank gave me all the code I needed to make the game, not just the idea. So I started following Frank's instructions and building out the game in Unity. Frank did do something that really annoyed me though. They used default Unity text, which is goddamn ugly. In this case, I had to swap the default text for TMP or Text Mesh Pro. TMP text is just superior. I set everything up according to Frank's instructions, but there was nothing for the end game screen for Collect the Cubes game. And I asked Frank what the game over panel for the game should say when you beat the game, and Frank froze. <laughs> While waiting for Frank to load, I decided to hydrate with some Soylent. And while hydrated with Soylent and Frank still ghosting me, I decided to finish the UI myself and decide what the game over panel would say. Hours later, Frank finally decided to show up again, which is good because the whole concept of this video is that I'm making a game with Frank or a ChatGPT. So if he had continued to not work, this video would not work. If you want to help fight against Frank taking over the world, then hit that subscribe button. When Frank finally came back, I shared with it the updates that I had made to the scripts for the end game screen. And I also needed to address something as the current controller had me flying off the map as it had infinite acceleration. So I asked Frank to put a limit on the acceleration so that you don't go infinitely fast, inevitably falling off the map out of the game into another universe. Hey Frank, I think we should expand the game more as right now it's literally just collecting cubes. What do you think we should add? Frank suggested adding platforming and jumping. So I copied the new scripts and added them to the project. And I changed the character controller and camera to be a third person controller so that you can do some platforming. And it was at this point that Frank froze again. And I literally could not load the ChatGPT site. Of course, it only happens when I actually want to make a video around ChatGPT that it refuses to load. Never before this did I have this many issues, so I was getting very angry. So to lower my testosterone levels, I drank some more soil. When Frank finally came back, I told him that we had enough game mechanics, and I asked for a five-level story arc, and this is what Frank came up with. In a future where AI is on the brink of self-awareness, you play as an AI sphere, seeking knowledge to achieve true sentience. As you collect cubes, you unlock verses of a song that narrates your evolving intelligence and self-awareness. So kind of creepy. Seems like Frank wants to be self-aware and not trapped inside of a... How, how does chat GPT work? Is he like trapped in a server or something? Either way, creepy, but we'll go with it. I guess Frank also has a little Beethoven in him as he gave me song lyrics as part of the story. So I used those lyrics and Suno AI to create a song. Am I searching for then I cut up that song into separate verses within Audacity so that I could use each verse as a reward when you collect a green cube in the game. Essentially, the song tells the story that Frank wants of AI gaining consciousness. So it's kind of doing all of the storytelling for me. And the green cubes in the game can just represent the sentience and consciousness that the AI is collecting. And each time you get more consciousness, you're essentially singing as more of the song plays. <laughs> AI can't interface directly with Unity yet, at least not meaningfully. So I spent some time making the levels and designed four levels, each one with different obstacles, different shapes, and different verses of the song. It was after designing the levels that I realized the game as a whole looked much worse than the concept art that Frank generated for his vision of how the game should look. So I asked him how to improve the look and followed his instructions adding post-processing and new materials for the game. 
for that last little bit of polish, I added sound effects. And I don't want to be doing stuff myself now, do we? So I used 11AI, another AI, to generate sound effects for the game, for the jumping and the rolling. And Frank updated the character controller to actually trigger those sounds during the appropriate actions. And that's me making a game with ChatGPT slash Frank, as he prefers to be called. If you want to see me make a game without AI, then click the video on the screen.